Hi everybody, this is Lucky One from Quantum Connections of TFRLive.com. I just wanted to let everybody know who I am. I am a radio host on TFRLive.com. I do host Quantum Connections. Um, I have recently, as far as a month ago, have come across um, some information that helped me understand what was going on with the Bible and how we have been fooled. <laughs> by the Bible. So I just wanted to let you know who I was right there. What's going on? I'm going to start a video log series for everybody because I know that there are others out there who's teaching this very same thing, but a lot of people don't have time. And I want to have a succinct discussion or illustration of different portions of the Bible. Now, I will do so without as without hubris and without um, embellishments. I will do everything I can to keep it succinct. That way we can move on with our day, take the information in. I am one of those who likes bite-sized information and keep moving, keep going on. And so I think that there are others that might be like me in this respect and don't have time for a 20-minute video. Five minutes, 10 minutes, that's it. Boom, move on and go on about the day, which you know, it kind of makes sense in this fast paced world we have. Some people will need that. Why am I doing this? Because we've been lied to. I have put forth 25 years of my life believing in a system that was not true. I have put forth tons of money towards this religion that was not true. I have lost much because of believing in this religion that was not true. If I can save one person from this heartache that I have lived in my life, then it's worth it. I will do this video log for that per, for that one person if that's what's necessary. Um, my goal is to, again, save at least one person from this waste of time, resources, energy. Um, that is my goal for this. In addition, it will also help people who understand things the way I now do be able to explain why cert certain things are a lie in the religion versus where they can find the truth. So they can find the Bible scriptures and they can find the notes and they can find all kinds of th different things so as to help people spread the word that we do not have to live under guilt for the rest of our lives because that is what religion preaches. So that's that's my goals for the uh, video logs. If you have any suggestions, I would be happy to take them. Just put them in the comments, please. Do me a favor, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, that, so the next thing is too is let people know about this. When I get this going, Show people these links, um, show people these videos and let them know that, you know, we're coming to an awakening and we're really coming to an awakening. And there's so many lies that's been given to us and stemming from the Bible. The Bible itself tells on itself, but you have to know what the words are. Everybody wonders about how all the secret coded words are used in our daily politics you know, for instance, um, politically correct does not mean anything about being politically correct. It means you have to use language that does not in any way harm or insult anybody else. And the problem with that is, is that being political, you know, people being offended is a personal choice. So you can't really control another person whether they're offended or not. But at any rate, that's what, like politically incorrect that is the term used, but we don't know what the terms are in the Bible, what they mean. We don't know that because it doesn't say so in the Bible. It doesn't even say on the little notes of the Bible at the bottom of the, the scriptures. So you have to go into the Strong's Concordance, or you have to find folks like Jeffrey Dougherty, the Jeffrey Dougherty Show. 
he is instrumental in my activity today in doing videos and things like that. If it wasn't for him, I would have never done this. I had my doubts prior to coming across his videos. I had my doubts. There were several things that was going on in um, the word usage in the Bible that really kind of acted like a splinter in my mind, if you will. I kept on snagging on these different issues and everything. And then, so when I heard him talking about it and him being a preacher of 20 years, 20 plus years, plus all the Bible study he's done, having gone to seminary, um, Bible college, these things that we've been taught are not true. And that, so now if you have questions, if there's certain questions like for parts of the scriptures that you're having trouble with and you don't know where to find the information, you could post that in the comments and I could do a vlog about that or just answer it directly um, where you can find it in the Bible. I'd be happy to help people out because I don't want anybody to suffer like I've suffered and I have suffered in this religion. I have suffered greatly because, well, first off, I'm a woman. Of course, I've suffered in this religion. Yes, we are put to suffering in this religion. Men too are put to suffering, but the fact, that by mere virtue of the fact that I was born with a vagina and mammaries, uh, automatically subjugates me to half the population on the planet, according to the Pauline doctrine. Anyway, so we will get into it and. Be sure to share this video, please, with your friends, um, for those, especially those who are having problems. Now, I want to make it abundantly clear. I am not disputing that Christ came in the flesh. I'm not disputing that one bit whatsoever. Mm -mm, nope, not disputing it. Okay? <laughs> with that little teaser, I will see you next time when I post another video. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. Hug somebody today. We need hugs. Okay, so go ahead, hug somebody today, okay? Find your quantum connections at tfrlive.com.